Hello, church family, and welcome to this Friday edition of BHC Today. I believe today is Friday, October 11th. I'm recording this in advance because we are on our way home from Greece. We should get back late tonight. I look forward to seeing you in church tomorrow. But we've had a great trip, hopefully, I can say that in advance, as we followed the footsteps of the Apostle Paul. One of my favorite places we went was a city called Corinth. Now, Corinth was a place that was a, a seaport. It was a connection between the Middle East and Europe, and many sailors would come there and bring their worldly ways. So it was a wild city, a, a very corrupt city, and, and, and the people who lived for God stood out drastically. In fact, Paul was there telling them how to live, and they called him crazy. Let me ask you a question. Has anyone ever called you crazy? Let me rephrase that. Has anyone other than your spouse ever called you crazy? As a Christian, there's been times when people had looked at me and said, you've got to be crazy to believe in a God you have never seen. You've got to be crazy to, to give your money to a church uh, to, about a God that you don't even know exists. But I do know he exists and I do believe. And they just say, I just can't accept it. I think it's crazy. So the question of the day is this. Nobody likes to be called crazy. But Paul was called crazy. I want to read a passage of scripture. In 1 Corinthians 2.14, the Bible says, The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually appraised. What Paul is saying is, is this. The, the, the person who is not a Christian will never understand. We can't live our lives hoping that they will understand because they will not until the Spirit of God works in their lives and, 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 and lives in their hearts and they can understand that. Until that time comes, we're going to have to decide, are we going to be normal like the world? Or are we going to be abnormal and live for God and have the world call us crazy every time we come? You see, uh, we have to choose. Do we keep God hidden so that the world will say we're okay? Or do we let the light of Christ shine through and have people call us crazy? Friends, that's a lifestyle choice we have to make every day. Will you be normal or crazy? I urge you today, my friends, don't settle for normality. Be crazy for Jesus. If there's one thing I hope people say about Rob Boyd one day, I say, pray they'll say, he's crazy for Jesus. If you ever listen to country music, maybe you remember a song by Cats, Patsy Cline. She was crazy in love. She says, I'm crazy, crazy for being so lonely, crazy, crazy for being so blue, crazy for trying, crazy for crying, crazy for loving you. So I want to suggest to you today that it's okay to be crazy. We live in a culture that talks about being crazy in love with this or crazy in love with that. But when you talk about being crazy in love with Jesus, they say you've gone off the deep end, that you're not normal. Lord, may I never be normal. May I never be subtle for normality. May I always be crazy for Jesus. Are you crazy for Jesus Beginning in verse 18, one of the uh, uh, one of the things I want to share with you today is what it means to be crazy for Jesus. It says this, you can call me crazy, but I still believe that Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. You can call me crazy, but I still believe the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that Jesus is the sweetest name I know. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that soon and very soon we are going to see the king. You can call me crazy, but I still believe that what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes us white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes, my friends, you can call me crazy, and I am. I'm crazy for Jesus. God bless you today, and be encouraged.